So these guys are a South Korean company, and these guys are making large drones. Um, none really in the U.S. right now. Uh, most are being used overseas, so a lot are being used in Australia. And these are to um, carry big Movi gimbals to do um, uh, uh, cinemato cinemato cinematography with high-end cameras. Um, both uh, over there, you see one that is. Um, 3D camera and then other other awesome. uh, you go for it. Hi, I'm Aiden Kelly. I'm from uh, Griffin XM2. Just released the new frames here in the US. Cool. And uh, these are some heavy lift frames. This particular all one. All for cinematography type stuff? No, no. So it's uh, a lot of industry based work. So we do carry all sorts of payloads okay. from larger LiDAR to uh, you know, high end uh, slow motion cameras for like blast monitoring, okay. for example. Okay. This can fly to. Maximum takeoff weight of 260 pounds, so it's big. <laughs> and so, if you had it fully loaded, were you getting like 20 minutes out of it in terms of flight time? Or fully what? loaded, it's only 15 minutes. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It always <laughs> it doesn't matter how big yeah. the batteries get bigger. And There's everything. a lot of motors, and uh, they're heavy, so it takes a lot of power just to lift itself. Um, and underneath that white shell is the battery bank. <laughs> And is, so are the, is this all the same default design, just configured slightly differently, or do you have a lot of different no, models? No, it's very, going? very similar. Um, you know, obviously this one over here has got the three arms coming out, so it's a slightly right, different right, center right, frame. Right, right. But yeah, these two here have actually got the same, very similar center plates, yeah. And so are you guys renting these? Are you guys, are you, do you guys provide the service to industry? How does, how does your business model work? So, Griffin is a sales agent, so we are selling these drones. Okay. Uh, XM2 is a service agent, so we will service you if you don't want to have the expense or you don't have the expertise gotcha. to fly them, we'll operate for you. And so, so if we were to buy one of these, what, what's the rough cost we're talking about? For, yeah, so if you set, let's say this setup here. For everything? Sure. Including the cameras? No, well, I'll leave the cameras off because that'll... Okay, so if you have the crazy. gimbals on there and stuff, you're looking at about 100,000. Mm -hmm. And so then what, what, what size batteries are you guys using? So for this particular one, we're running a 50 volt setup uh, and it's about, uh, what about they? Between, depending on how you want to run it, between 60,000 milliamp hours to 120,000. Cool. And and, and uh, range on this? Uh, we can spec it to how you want. So, so what was standard, typically are people doing like? The, the thing is we're limited by law. So line of sight is the... Is the for the US? Yeah. But outside are you good? Well, there's only very few places in the world where you can fly out of visual line of sight at the moment. But, uh, you know... With the right equipment, you can push that out to 10 kilometers if you wanted to. But uh, at the moment, it's line of sight, which is around a kilometer. Cool. One awesome. Mile, roughly. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thanks, no man. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, didn't mean to interrupt your guys' cleanup. <laughs> Sorry. All good.